So I'll be volunteering and helping out with that. So I'm actually going to be oh, in yeah. the community this year, uh, giving back because your girl has decided she's getting into to local politics uh, this year. There we go. Okay, it's right. a good time to do there so. Yeah. So <laughs> we need we need more black faces and blonde hairs getting into the. <laughs> we, we need some more Jada Pinkett's out there. <laughs> Out there doing the work, <laughs> doing God's work. Come on now, boo. <laughs> dropping it low for Seattle. Drop it low for Seattle. Hey, <laughs> y'all ain't. <laughs> shit. Hey, community, we're back, and here's what's brewing today. Cat Williams and Shay Shay T. Happy MLK Day. And aunties, do you give a damn? So get your cups ready for my noise. Look for it. Hey, hey, community. What's up? Welcome to Minority Report. It's Auntie Corral. It's Auntie Dewan. And it's Auntie Ken. I'm kidding. Auntie Jarrell. <laughs> it's, it's Auntie Jada. No, lady. Auntie Jada. <laughs> Do I have to understand? Who was that? Jada Pinkett. <laughs> First, she was out here looking like Big Pun. Now she's out here looking like Auntie Jarrell. <laughs> oh, it's interesting because we're recording on Wednesday, and I, I try to wear pink on Wednesdays because of Mean Girls, and it just so happens that it comes out this week. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and and wear some pink for Mean Girls, and you know, just represent. Yes. And yeah. I was teaching my class, and someone literally was like, hey, Ken. And I was like, hey, Ken. And I was like, oh, my God. I got this pink and this blonde hair on. I was like, oh, Lord. I was like, yeah, you're right. Clocked. You're right. You're right. Like, are you going, like, we, we haven't, so community, we, we we took the holidays off, you know, the holiday season like we normally do off. So we haven't recorded in, God. Four or five years, like something a like month, that. 85 a month, since years. the Beyonce Renaissance. Right, it's been a minute. Since the Beyonce Renaissance <laughs> yeah. review. Yeah. Yeah, the film yep, review. So that's exactly it. And yeah. so, so Jarrell, you going through a, a, a midlife crisis. You're going to die in hair. The same what's going thing. on? What's going she on since we <laughs> last saw you, girl? <laughs> Biz literally said the same thing. Honestly, y'all, you know, I just heard blondes have more fun. So I just wanted to see what it was like. Yeah, and it, it, is it true? Uh, baby, I've been having a good time. I Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me. It's so it's so interesting. So I often forget that I have blonde hair until I see myself in a mirror or a reflection. <laughs> and I kid you not, the after the first day, I started myself in the bathroom because I was like, oh, oh yeah, that's right, I did that yesterday. I forgot. And then that same day, I was I went and watched the the Kraken um, hockey team, the NHL team. And I'm like coming home and people are like, Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. I'm like, why are people talking to me? Like this is this is a this is a lot of attention happening right now. Like, is there something on my face or what's going on? Sure enough, it's probably because my hair was dyed blonde. And it was New Year's Day and people are like, Happy New Year and I'm like That's hilarious. So I really do I really do think that people see blonde hair and people think more approachable. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe it's a lot of subconscious mm. stuff in that too. Mm. I was literally <laughs> we'll dive thinking. into that on another day. Uh-huh. <laughs> and and Dewan, how was how was your your holiday season? Your your New Year, girl. You know, I got sick <laughs> for the oh, first and time. Y'all know Dewan say he blood. never gets never sick. gets never sick. got to okay. him sick. I've never had a cold. I've never had the flu until this past year. I did haven't. I've been through COVID, never got COVID. Like, I've never had the chills. I've never had the sniffles. I never had the coughs. And I had all that shit. And, <laughs> and I mother, was out m- for Mother two... Earth said, gotcha, bitch. Blood. I finally caught up with your Blood. ass. <laughs> <laughs> got you, got you, got you now. Like, <laughs> she said, tag you in. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, which one of these hating ass hoes and put a goddamn curse on me and turn me to a mere mortal? <laughs> Look, not somebody Honey. with the doll over and here to the side. <laughs> let me tell you, I have so much empathy and sympathy and all the apathies for anybody that has ever been sick that I did not have before because that shit took me out. Yeah, out. Man. Why I can see I Dewan mean, being the- sick, but like, oh, this is regular. <laughs> like, <laughs> <the cobblers. laughs> Girl, get your shoes. Let's find you a home. <laughs> 
My friends are cool. I thought you were a hoe. And honestly, and honestly, Jarrell, that legitimately was me. I was like, we what? Know, we, we know. know. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is this is horrible. Boo. boo. <laughs> I see it. I really oh. see it. <laughs> but I will tell you, I am a self-sufficient, sick person. So I'm not one of those okay. people that's like, you know, I need a whole bunch of things done for me or whatever. Um, you know, I, I power through it. And you I, live with a Capricorn, I, so girl, you're gonna have to fit for yourself. So I didn't have a choice. Yeah, you didn't have a choice, girl. <laughs> <laughs> she, she really did. Did he said that like a, a patting himself on the back. It's like, girl, no, we know the truth. <laughs> Look. For two weeks, for two weeks, I've been sleeping in the living room, like, you know, try do being as courteous as I possibly can, because for someone who doesn't get sick, I'm just thinking I'm super contagious. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. For it to get it's me so contagious, <laughs> right? Look, and I'm and I'm just and I'm sure Adam's like this. The least you can do, <laughs> like during my birthday season, that's the what least you like, can do. <laughs> said, do, do during Christmas. <laughs> Like, I'm surprised he didn't make me stay out in a goddamn hotel or some shit like that. You, you got to get out of here. Mm -mm. Corey goes, did Adam leave town without him to go back home? I was like, no, I think he actually stayed. I actually, and honestly, I said, go. Do that. Right. Yeah. No, no. He was like, no, I'm going to stay with my boo. No, that's not what he said. His, <laughs> nope. His sister said, you can't stay with us because you might be bringing the flu with you. So. <laughs> I have a choice. <laughs> Not by default. <laughs> <laughs> the tickets were already paid for. Stay, she said you better stay your ass in New York. <laughs> <laughs> she said, um, don't you be bringing that shit over here. <laughs> I know that's right. I'm not even mad at that response. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not even mad at that response. Oh, <laughs> Christmas travel plans got completely Whew. kiboshed, but you know, I mean, it it, it is what it is. You know, I mean, you were, one yeah. year ain't and ain't, ain't gonna ruin a, like a whole bunch of decades of positive memories. So yeah. it's all and good. you were just going back to the Midwest anyway, so you know, been there, Girl. done that. Blood. <laughs> right now, if you now if you were going like to Colombia, you know, to see your bestie right. or something, that'd be a whole other story. But that would be a problem. They'd yeah. be all, they'd be all right yeah. over there. I might still get on that flight. I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, all these cold. all these years you were like, to... stay your ass home, and do I go like, well, you know. No. I have places to be. <laughs> no, somehow, no, no, no. What's gonna happen is somehow she's gonna wake up just fine. It's a miracle. Right. Like, like, just recover. No, she, no, 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 she gonna, 7 a.m. She gonna end up right. No, she gonna end up on that United Airlines flight and you'd be like, damn, karma's a bitch, ain't it? Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she like, damn, I should have stayed my ass home. <laughs> Look, if I gotta fly anything but Delta, I ain't gonna. Right. Yeah, I know not, that's right. I'm sorry, I, girl. Because even know, Alaska, boo girl. to all y'all out there that be them American. Airlines and United oh, yeah, Alaska fans, y'all the Alaska <laughs> girl, baby. Could you imagine? Could you imagine, no. bitch, sitting no. there and the motherfucking door <laughs> flies the fuck off, bitch? No. Oh no, 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 no. no. Mm -mm. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> like, cause, like, if I'm like, a, I sit in the aisle. So, because I'm just too tall to be scrunched in the, 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 the window. Like, damn, so like you be getting pee, I don't be climbing over people. Oh, Man, I be getting gotta, hit all, all the day time, bitch. Oh, and you got them shoulders God, too, bitch. That's awful. So oh, you can't God, never sleep. Rat. You can't never sleep. No. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> I'd rather be in the aisle than the window because then I'd be like, geez. Mm -hmm. And I'd just be feeling like, oh, I can't move and shit. So, no. But Corey loves oh, the window. I do too. And he'd be like, <laughs> sleep against it, Same. looking out the window. I would have done lost my husband. <laughs> he would have been afloat. He would have been afloat. Because <laughs> ah, the way he be all against that window, girl. Right. I swear to God. I was like, I couldn't even imagine. Couldn't even imagine. That's so wild. That's Meanwhile, so wild. I'm over here. I'm over here thinking, wait, how is it that you're crunk? Oh. You're uh, this bitch, she's like, I'm in first class. That's what she said, bitch. It was a stunt. She said, I'm in first class, bitch. I ain't worried about them problems. That's, that's what that was. She's like, why y'all back here in the conversation? I'm trying to decide. Wait a minute. Why are you talking about being scrunched up for me? Right. Like, what is this? That's what she, I cut it. <laughs> 
You better start, bitch. I know that's right. I'm going to shoot you. I'm buy you a hoe. Oh, damn. Economy. Oh. She said, if I'm going down the whole plane going down, bitch, that's where I'm at. She said, the cart the car hits your shoulders? What cart? <laughs> she really said, the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, girl, that's Hunger Games um, in the back of there for the rest of us, girl. Okay? Hunger <laughs> Games girl. in the back. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow. But yes. Well, I'm glad how this goes. Mine, was, mine were good, too. What did I do? Oh, I was back home. Oh, it makes me boohoo. Just to see my niece actually walking and talking. Yeah. yeah. Makes me boohoo. Oh, and, just sitting there thinking about it every fucking and, time. It makes me ball. Yeah. <laughs> and opening up them gifts. We saw oh, them video. Yes. The best. Yes. Oh, my. Oh, the best. Yes. It yeah. was literally like it was the first Christmas where I was like, I don't even need to open a single thing. Yeah. Like, and you hear that like throughout life when people have kids and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, I, we're good. Watching you guys have the joy. Oh, it's going to make me ball. It was the first Christmas. So I was just like, I get it now. Yeah. I yeah. get it. Yep. Yeah. Don't need to open a single. I don't need shit to see them yeah. that happy. Yeah. Oh, uh, and then to yep. see like my, my brother and his wife that happy. And then to see my parents that ha- like yeah. Aww. insanity. Yep. Oh, um, okay, let yeah. me move on because I'm a boohoo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so it was good, and then we just stayed here in Philly for uh, for New Year's. Yeah. So yeah. So, but it seems like a distant well, memory already. <laughs> something else happened over the that break. Is that is true. That is true. What happened? Mm, well, for the first know. time in all damn near First-tory. five years, <laughs> <laughs> the three of us were in the same place at the same I time. Know. Together right. in New York City, right. y'all. Like I still, it can, up. I turn, let me tell you, I still <laughs> cannot think about that without one smiling like the fucking Grinch I ear know. to ear. It brings right. me so much joy. And then two, being sad that like <laughs> it ended so quickly. Like okay. I feel like we blinked and it was time to go. We had to go. It was time to go. <laughs> right. Let the record That's show. True. We had big fun. Big, big fun. fun. <laughs> we really did. Baltimore. Baltimore. <laughs> my favorite the was my favorite was the very first moment. And by the way, community, we're gonna do a whole kind of like thing a little bit later about like yeah. all the shenanigans and stuff like that. Um, but my favorite, honestly, was like when we first all showed up at the same place. We were at the bar. And we just hugged each other and jumped up and down like the Golden Girls. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell y'all. Listen, community, you know how Auntie Carell and Dewan be like, oh, I be hating when the girls be screaming and stuff like that at the bar. That was us. That we. I thought that when we were in that circle too. I was like, damn, we're them girls. We all, we were the girls at the gay bar screaming, jumping sure up are. and down in a circle, Literally. going like this. <laughs> that is so true. That was us. Yeah. And yep. there is but and there's video evidence. There's footage of it too. Yep. Mm-hmm. That was a fun yeah. night. My favorite thing was, was hold on, I gotta tell the community too, just real quick. Uh oh. Auntie Henny was the responsible one. I just want y'all to know. Okay. That is a true statement. I was this is true. I was the one that this was like, mm, we got things to do. And who and was to, surprisingly the worst one? The wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The one oh, was the Turk Turk one. <laughs> how how did I end up literally body roll bumping and bumping on on the table in front of your know. husband? <laughs> I was I like, what? <laughs> what? Who is this person? <laughs> ma'am, ma'am. We'll yeah. we'll get into yeah. it more, but it we was will. it was it was a whole thing. I loved it, and honestly, I love I love great. y'all so much. I'm so glad we oh. did that. <laughs> And yep. I'm so glad that we're gonna be doing it again for your big 40th this year. Damn, damn, <laughs> and she turning 40. Hey. She turning 40. <laughs> oh man, Ooh, I'm sweating. Hold on, it let me turn this so, fan off. <laughs> it is so wild. Like we've since we've been on the podcast, we each have gone through certain life milestones. You know, mm-hmm. we think yes. about like because like I. S- I was I was in my forties, but I turned forty five, yeah. and then you got into your thirties, and then you're now turning forty, which is just yeah. 
huge, huge life hey, you milestones. And you just turned, what, 35? 35? 36. 36. Oh, yeah, I just turned 36. 36. So yeah. you had your 35 on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know it's weird because we're about to be almost our five year, by the way. Uh, yeah. Yes. So we got brainstorming what we want to do for that. But it, it's weird because it feels like a blink of an eye. But like you said, like there's been definitely milestones. Mm -hmm. There's been COVID. There's been Black Lives Matter. Like the stuff that we've kind of already gone through through this podcast is wild. And it's like, our journal, our diary, you yeah. know, in a weird way mm -hmm. from week to week. So it's, it's wild to think, but yeah, no, I'm excited about that. I can't wait till March. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me stop eating though. Cause I don't gain some pounds with this holiday season. Baby, let me tell you eating, eating. the moment we got back from New York, my ass went right into the gym. Okay. That's right. And I ain't gonna lie y'all. I've been putting in that work. I've been putting hey, in that work. Doing, girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, like, if you don't go to the gym, that's how I feel. If I'm going to go to the gym, I might as well put the work because now I don't got my ass out here. <laughs> so let me let me put in this work. Uh, she been sitting there. She been you know she been getting a little gains a little yeah, bit, a little okay. something, bitch. Okay, a little okay. something. But I it's the case for me though. Myself. The way that my hat, my ass has started to shift up and start Girl. doing. I said, you gonna have that Fantasia Barino. <laughs> let me tell you, Girl. <laughs> As long as I don't got the lift, I'll Honey. be all right. <laughs> as I, just, I literally <laughs> haven't been to a gym in minimum five years. Damn. Yeah, I, I ain't been either, but I, I I'm about been to. In a gym. Mm -mm. I need to get it. Like that's, and we'll get to that kind of list later too. But that's that's going to be one of mine. I just need to get in there. Yeah. Like I feel like it's the last hurrah. <laughs> if I really don't care. Yeah. Well, I mean. Yeah. Seriously. Look, like, like, if if you want to see the future, just look to your right. <laughs> period. So it's like, yee. But um, mm. and before we get too much farther, today's MLK Day, by the way. So yes, MLK Junior Day. Um, I know a lot of folks have the day off. At least at mm -hmm. my company, we get we get it off. I think it's a national holiday, so everybody yeah. should technically kind of at least maybe corporate America get it off. Sometimes they flip. Um, they'll have they'll flip it with like President's Day or one, like oh, some of those okay. kind of things. So yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Well, at least for me, I ain't going to work. <laughs> so me too. so it's also a day of service a, a lot of times um, for the holidays. So. So get out there, make sure you're, you're checking out your communities and things like that. I'm personally going to actually go down to D.C. I've never been to the African American Museum Same. down there. So oh, I'm going to go down there. Just I heard the and, kitchen. Uh, I heard the yeah. kitchen down there. That's what I'm, it's, I'm excited. It's, I'm excited. It's the tea. <laughs> it and you going on absolute. MLK, bitch? Oh, you better bring, bring some yeah. Tupperware. Well, no, I'm going to go the days before because I was like, okay. MLK about to be crazy. That's about crazy. look. <laughs> okay, yeah. come on yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, it's the day of service. MLK will have, it'll be filled with like, all the kids yeah, and stuff mm -hmm. that have been busted in sure. because it's MLK Day and they're doing that kind of thing. So, and I don't want to have to like bust some little kid in their face on MLK Day. So I'm going a day before. Yeah. I'll be I'll be volunteering. Get out my damn way. I'll be volunteering on MLK. So I I'm excited to to give back. That's one of the things I love to do every MLK. Uh, yeah. There is like, um, uh, what do they call it when you like have like a like a like a morning breakfast and you come to get like a morning breakfast service i forget there's a particular name oh, that they call yeah, it yeah. uh we did that all growing oh up. fudge it is skipping my name oh because ah. there's like there's like prayer know. breakfasts and then there's um <clears throat> you repass but anyways <laughs> not a... stop <laughs> stop <laughs> Not not on MLK Day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but there'll be there'll be like a, spe Wait, we gotta, a special I'm sorry. breakfast. I haven't at 7 seen y'all in so long. I have to cut up just a little bit. <laughs> you gotta cut up in twenty twenty five. A little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, but we'll come to, we'll come together like at seven AM, do breakfast and prayer yeah. and, and stuff like that. And then we'll go to the, the local high school here in the black and like the black community. And there'll be like um, some booths and like a community event and some praise dances and spoken word and stuff like that. So I'll be volunteering and helping out with that. So I'm actually going to be That'll in be the community this year, uh, giving back because your girl has decided she's getting into to local politics uh, this year. There we go. Okay, yeah. it's right. a good time to do so. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we need we need more black faces and blonde hairs getting into the. <laughs> we, we need some more Jada Pinkett's out there. <laughs> Out there doing the work, <laughs> doing God's work. Come on now, <laughs> dropping it low for Seattle. Dropping it low for Seattle. 
<laughs> Do the <Yeah>, dirty wine. <laughs> Lean back. Lean back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, community. Oh, and then also, by the way, we're on DNR, DNR app now. So yeah. beep, beep, for those beep. that are new to our podcast, hello, hello, hello. Subscribe to all the socials and all that good stuff. Check us out also on YouTube and all that good stuff. But for our community members, Happy New Year. You know, it's our first full new episode. So hopefully you, you had a great holiday season. And since we haven't been recording <laughs> for a few weeks, there's just a lot to talk about. So we got a jam-packed episode this week, next week, and probably the following week. So we're going to get into it. And so we're going to bust out oh, for wait. the first time in 2024. Go ahead. I didn't I didn't say what I was doing for my MLK day. Oh, that's right. Go ahead, boo. Oh, well, I, I heard you say you took it off. So I was like, ooh, he probably chilling. Uh, watching. <laughs> no, I'm working on my black-owned business for Delovable. <laughs> hey, there we go. No. All day, I'm going to be sitting up there by the sewing machine just, like, cranking out little doll outfits all goddamn day. Put that should. out there, so. And if y'all ain't been to his page, Dewan be out there, gotten all the looks. So it'd be, like, multiple looks a day. <laughs> I'm like, you better work, bitch. Look, Amara... <laughs> She's my little Naomi Campbell, because, honey, she be turning it out. Oh, I thought you was going to say she was your little Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> he said, and that's it for 2024. Right. <laughs> Why Sierra come on? And her daughter's name is so close to Amara. I was like, that is hilarious. She, she trolling hilarious. me. She trolling you. <laughs> she be listening, she listening to the podcast, and she trolling me. That's why. Seriously. I was like, that is Perfect. She she trying to keep up with my uh my Instagram follower, so we'll we'll see, <laughs> we'll see when that when that ba- when that baby's uh what what is her name Amaya Amaya Amor- I think Amora Amora <laughs> I think it's some A M O R A yeah yeah you need some Amora <laughs> hits how about that <laughs> <laughs> oh no you ain't about to do that you know what <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Not on MLK Day. <laughs> oh my god. The one said I'm coming out hot. Say I'm lying. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Especially not when Color Purple stood in the theaters, too. Come on now. Yeah. Have, you, have, you, guys, <laughs> have you guys watched The Color Purple? It was good. Yeah. I, I really haven't seen good. it yet. Yeah, you need to go. Oh see yeah, it. she was sick. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll look. That on I looked at you yeah. like, "What you mean you ain't seen it yet?" Right, like where were you at? It's like, "Oh yeah, you was sick." Boo boo went on yourself. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cold sign for me. It's like, I, I mean, we don't, we all don't have to oh, before. Love. I know what happens. <laughs> that, uh, mm, mm. That all right, you know what? Let's get into flashbacks. <laughs> right, your stomach started churning. <laughs> Aunties. Do you give a damn? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. The first one. We'll start off easy, actually. Do you give a damn that Angela Bassett actually got her Oscar this year? I do. I do. It's about damn time. And, and again, yeah. she was snubbed last year. So it was one of those things that they knew they fucked up. They knew they fucked up. And this is their way of trying to make amends and trying to correct it. Yeah. Now, I would have also loved that she would have been like, I thank you, but I don't want this shit either. Like, I, I would have I would have also appreciated that energy as well. But I love that her speech was about the importance of that moment and taking aside yeah. how she might have personally failed, feel in that yeah. situation. So I love that she shout out literally every black woman that has won an Oscar. Right, Mm -hmm. and she talked about the impact that that had on her, and working with folks, and what that hopes to to do for those in the future. So, I loved everything about it, but I also would have been okay with a little bit of pettiness. Yeah, 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 I would have had me a little more one, at least one little line that was a little more petty. We caught the petty because we black, we caught it, right? But I wanted something blatantly (laughs) because we knew. I wanted just one little line. That's it. Yeah. (laughs) It's like, I should have won it last year, but I'll take it this year. Thank you. Or something like that, yeah. you know? <laughs> or it's about goddamn time. That part. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Literally verbatim. I would mm-hmm. love to see that. Verbatim. I, 
I do give a damn because I do think it's important. Um, I also hope that that she will have another opportunity to actually just bona fide win it because mm -hmm. I feel like even though it's the Oscars and even though we all know that Oscars don't mean that much for black people because quite frankly, their money isn't really going up. Yeah. You get the titling yeah. and whatnot, but like it doesn't do, yeah. it doesn't do what it does for white people when they get the Oscar. Let's put it that way. But I could also imagine that every time she looks at it, she'll feel that it's a consolation. Yeah. It's not yeah. like, it's not like it was on the same stage in the competition format that a regular right. Oscar would be given. <clears throat> I could understand because at the end like of a lifetime achievement award, different. Yeah. Yeah. Different. Because at the end of the day, they're still not giving these honorary Oscars to black people. I mean she's <laughs> so, the second after Cicely Tyson the second, in, in twenty eighteen. Black female at least. Yeah. yeah. So just like if it took Cicely Tyson till twenty eighteen and Cicely Girl. was like damn near ninety two at that time. Right. So to get it in your sixties Okay, I right, yeah. I'll take this. I'll, I'll put it as a inching. doorstop at the crib. <laughs> they're inching into the fifties and then the forties, <laughs> right? So it's just like they still ain't like, handing this shit out to us. But I agree. Like, and I still I think, think they that realize... Whoopi Goldberg. I still sorry. I I, I do yeah. still think that Whoopi Goldberg deserves an honorary Oscar for the role she played in in uh, the Color Purple. Oh, one thousand percent. Her and Oprah. Oh, both of them should have won it both that year. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Both of them. B-O-F. Yep. Both. <laughs> but, but I didn't, I really didn't know this, but there was a, uh, an interview that, she, that Whoopi had did. And apparently the NAACP asked people to boycott the yeah. movie, <clears throat> which is one of the reasons why they weren't even, they were nominated, but they didn't win because of the controversy that was around it. Like, yeah. it'd be your own people. Mm. And it still be. We'll get to that a little later. Yeah. Uh, do you give a damn that Cat Williams drug everybody? <laughs> and when I say every, he okay. done went on a club Shay Shay and dragged everybody. Low I'm going to say I... Go for it, baby. Oh, go ahead. Okay, well, I'm going to say I give a damn because I was here for all of the tea, <laughs> whether it was true or not. And also, I can't help but feel like this is a little bit of a plant moment to distract all of us from the shenanigans that are going on politically that we really that need part. to be focused on. Even though there's truth that I feel like this is getting the airplay that it is because it is him, because it is Kat, and he, had, he came out with, the, with his version of the facts, whatever you yeah. believe is true or not, and it is juicy. <laughs> what do you think girl do you, do you give a damn or no I give a damn I do give a damn and I thought honestly it was juicy I was here for all the mess and then I love that the man went out and ran a 40 yard dash to at 52 <laughs> years old <laughs> with a pot belly but, the pot thing, belly. but guess what he was just slightly off from what he said that he would have ran too so it's not like he was being dramatic about it so when I saw that I was like well damn Maybe there might be some truth to everything else he said. So I was like, mm. and this was I, this was a two-hour, forty-minute interview, just dropping bombs left consecutively. Left right. Hiroshima, yeah. <laughs> double Literally. homicide, <laughs> double homicide. Period. <laughs> so I'm about to open up all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> all this shit. <laughs> Um, I, I, I give a damn just because it was like, it was very entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> very entertaining. Cause Shannon Sharp is entertaining as well, uh, as well, you know, to me. <laughs> My only thing with Cass sometimes, he be telling everybody business but his own. <laughs> but I'm like, girl, what's, what, what, why you out here telling all this? What you got up your sleeve now that you trying to hide that you just dropped all these bombs? Yeah, right. <laughs> like... You got us over here looking over here and you over here doing something that you trying to hide right quick because... You, why you what you you ain't promoting nothing so you just say hey shen i need to be up there right quick <laughs> she okay. did all that shit that she didn't spilled about the illuminati and the powers that be and turning down 50 million it, it makes twice. you wonder no four times is what he said oh, four, whatever four times because he wanted to protect his virgin booty hole is and, and according to his words who did who who got it who got in them pockets uh -huh. because for him to come out the woodwork for all of this? Baby. <laughs> I 
I don't know. Yeah, I definitely, I, I definitely got know. some questions. I, but you know, it gave very much like that dr- that that one uncle in your family that always got something to say that is already <laughs> in everyone else's business that's just spreading blood. That part. Yep. Why are you bringing this up? You know, yep. like. Who at, who ordered this? But yeah, you still delivering. Good, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> that's you know that. She said, "I need to stop feeding you this liquor." He's like, "You don't drink more than me." <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, watching that watching that video and even watching the clips, it took me back to when I was five, six years old, and grown folks were having conversations, and I would be, yeah. like, standing right next to the door to the kitchen, just trying to listen to their conversation. <laughs> it gave, for me, that kind of energy. That's so funny you say that. Over the holidays, so, like, I did my ancestry, like, DNA stuff years ago, and finally just now, because, like, there's just a lot about, like, our family, especially black communities, it's hard to find your ancestry just because of the dynamics of how we got here. Mm-hmm. But uh, so like I've done some digging and started to uncover gems that my mom and none of her sisters knew and all this stuff and on my dad's side. But uh, she was talking to her, her sister just to kind of validate some things. And she's like, yeah, that's why I stayed inside all the time because I was nosy. She said, I, you know, I had them allergies. So y'all was outside playing and I was inside pretending to read my book. But I was listening to them grown folks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you give a damn that Jonathan Majors was found guilty? Uh, I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. Like, honestly, I was, I heard the news. I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm, let me go back to sewing. <laughs> that part. That part. <laughs> that part. What about Jerome, you? Do you give a damn? I, I, only as a Mar- mostly as a Marvel fan. I know. I was just that like, was I that's too. what I gave a damn. I was yeah. like, damn. And yeah. for and that, because he was acting the shit out that Kang part. He really he was. He was doing yeah. it. And so now that, this is just going to fuck up and push everything. I just hope they recast. I hope they truly yeah. recast, which, which they didn't do with Chaz McBoseman. So I hope they actually recast versus. Starting over from the storyline, although they've been really butchering the storyline, so some people are like, you know, if y'all just want to start over, yeah. we're okay with that. But then it's I, like we'll, we'll, we'll give you that, <laughs> right. right? But um, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of torn. Just there's just so much contradiction, contradicting evidence from both sides that I really just don't, I don't know where to fall in the whole situation. So that's really why I don't give that because I'm just tired of it. I just I, yeah. I I I really don't because I've seen some videos of him trying to get away from her, but I also have seen <laughs> the one like, with him running, right? And she was chasing him. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like not the, the, the same from Get Out, dude. dude yeah, he was trying. And it looked like he had some MC Hammer pants <laughs> on too. Like that's what I was saying. I was like, what pants he got on? Look. But then I mean, like you also can't deny like and some of the pictures where you see the bruises and stuff like that. So like there had to have been some right. So I'm just yeah. I'm just torn. So. From their situation, I don't give a damn. But from a Marvel standpoint, I give a damn. Yeah, that's why I what give a damn because I was like, "Damn, he was acting the shit out that Kang role." Yeah, he really Even was. in the movies, like that, were that like the Ant Man and the Wasp yeah. one. The movie wasn't that good, but his scenes were good because mm-hmm. he was acting the shit out that role. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yeah. "Damn!" I was looking at, I was excited to see how he was just gonna like play all twenty billion versions of himself, yeah, and right. each one was so distinct and nuanced. I was like, yeah. "This dude acting, acting." Uh, but it's just like part of me is just like damn yeah another white lady got him yeah. <laughs> another white lady got him somebody got to say it but uh, and yeah. we in interracial relationships and that's, gonna, and that's gonna be and that's gonna be my thing i i also just hate the idea of the story that's been also coming about black and that's why you need to stick with black people you know this yeah, is why that's exactly like, what they yeah, gonna say like, yeah. well, that, that's what they've been saying and that's why i'm just like this just kind of adds to that and i just hate that storyline i hate that right? storyline it's like damn um, Damn. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully and he's young enough that he'll he'll have an act too. He'll be back, but like you said, I don't know what side it was. It's just like usually I lean on the victim side because it's just like you got to believe because it, it takes a lot of vulnerability to come out and say somebody hitting on you. Yeah, but it's just a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna move on because I ain't got shit else to say. <laughs> Do we care that Haley Bailey gave birth? Oh, I see you skipped over that one. 
Oh, because I'm saving that okay, one. That's good. a juicy one. <laughs> good. Because <laughs> that one might steer us to the end of the episode. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Because I got something to say. Um, Haley Bailey. No, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. The only thing I give a damn about is I just hate the fact that she was coming out on social media being like, I ain't pregnant. I ain't pregnant. I ain't pregnant. I ain't pregnant. I got a baby. Like, I just, <laughs> at that point, just just own up to it. But I think part of it was just because of the fact that she was doing The Little Mermaid, and I'm sure with doing The Little Mermaid, but like, mm, she pregnant, like, The Little Mermaid can't be pregnant, you know? So I think from maybe a business standpoint, she had to keep it on the hush. But girl, girl, I would have just kept quiet. You need to go out there yeah. and be like, I'm tired of people talking about she got the pregnancy now. <laughs> Bitch, you do. What you think about the internet? You put something on the internet, we gonna see what you look like. And then you had to nerd to wear all these oversized clothes. We know. We know. It's like, that's the game plan that everybody done did since the beginning yeah. of time. Because you're the first one? <laughs> you're the first? Right, right. She done yeah. hopped up the ocean and got knocked up on land. <laughs> Go she home, she she Go home. She got her legs and then some. Look, uh, <laughs> Here. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed y'all. <laughs> what we got to do with this girl? That came out your mouth. Look to the day what what we going to do about my legs? <laughs> oh lord Jesus. <laughs> I'm warm now. Lord help us. But congrats yeah. to you, Hallie. I know yeah. we're joking, but no, honestly, at the end of the day, congrats to you. And um, yeah, that's all I can say. I don't know if I really give a damn either. No. It is what it I is. I did like she was like, uh, welcome to the world, uh, Halo. The world is thirsty for you. And I was like, the only reason why they're thirsty is because you was holding out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. What's another one that's like going to derail us real quick? Uh, are you, do you give a damn that RuPaul just won another Emmy for Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Host for Reality or Competition Program for the eighth consecutive time? No. Which is, ex like, it's extending his record that he already had. No. No. I care more about the fact that Kiki Palmer won as the first black woman as a host of a game show. Yeah. I, I care more about that. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here for everybody black winning shit. Yeah. I mean, it's not like high, high on this. I'm not going to be like out here doing cartwheels and shit, but anytime any black person winning shit, him, Kiki, Karamo, mm -hmm. congrats. I'm here for it. Yeah. I just feel like after about like the sixth time, I I care less. Like, okay. That's, that's where I'm at. That's congrats I'm at. to you. Congrats to you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not going to be jumping all over, you know... <laughs> Right. Like, oh my Joe, God. See, I want him to... it. We did it, <laughs> right. Joe. I'm like, like no. extend that shit because old boy from Survivor won like five or six of them in the room. They was like, yeah, it's the best show ever. Don't hit the fuck it ain't. No. <laughs> so I'm like, go ahead, RuPaul. Extend that shit so nobody else win anymore. Uh, <laughs> this is right after we got done recording last. Do y'all give a damn about the gay sex scandal in the Senate chamber? Bitch, why you show your face? Why Rookie you move. show your face? Rookie move. Because let me tell you, let me tell you, I, I low-key give props to the idea. Like, We're going to fuck in this room. Thousand. Okay? Like, that's a, that's, a, that's a flex. But then the One fuck up and show your face? He, he better have some good dick because it was a top that was recording that face. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. But I do kind of feel like the, like, and, and I don't know if this was the intent, but like beyond this experience, his OnlyFans, it don't make a ma it don't make a difference anymore because he's probably making like a lot of money, a lot of yeah. money. So he wasn't that cute? You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, don't matter. Like it's. I didn't points. even see his face. I still didn't see his face to this day. The boy. <laughs> you didn't that. The boy or the the top? <laughs> well, we didn't see the top. It was just oh, the bottom they, they that wasn't the there. They showed the top on, um, on Twitter. They were all talking about oh, how really? he wasn't that attractive. He had a nice dick, but he wasn't attractive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the that's dick, what they I said. Mean, the D will get you. Yeah. The D will get yeah. you. 
every dun, time, dun, dun, girl. Dun, 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 <laughs> You know what I would be mad at? Though? You know what I, I would... If, I would be mad if I was the Senate person that had to sit in that seat where he didn't got fucked. Like, that? Because you know you make... went into the room like this, being looking at the anger, being like... You're right. Uh, no, I ain't gonna sit there today. Uh, and this probably like still that... smelled like sex in the air, too. Mm-hmm. You know that smell. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling like Russian lube and maybe a distinct hit the boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> Bad decisions. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing though <clears throat> it was a rookie move with showing the face but it's just like we know good and well he ain't the first oh, we know good and not. well mm-hmm. and he won't be the last mm-hmm. I just feel like they were very up in arms because it was gay people at the end of the day I think you know? and so they had to be a little upset be like well damn they, they just dicking it down in here Y'all can get married, but don't be dicking it down like we do in the chambers. <laughs> no, honestly, I think I just honestly think that it was a video that was leaked. I, I, honestly, I think that's what it boiled down to. I think we would have gotten the same type of reaction if it was a straight couple doing it as well, too. I really I so. do. I really do. I think they were just doing the, it's, it's our sacred government, blah, 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 and so no one should be doing this. Because and some of the articles... was like, damn, we plan to do that next week. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's a little high Maxine, heels. Maxine, back there, like, damn, I'm glad I did that in the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Next boy. year's holiday Why you party. Put that image in my head. <laughs> well, damn. She said, reclaiming my time. <laughs> reclaiming, reclaiming my these time. Claps. <laughs> reclaiming these claps. <laughs> Go ahead, Maxine. <laughs> uh, okay, do y'all give a damn about this Taraji versus Oprah? So I really, I wonder if it's like actual real, or if that's just something that the people are out there putting out I there. Think the I, I think the people yeah. are making up because what I've seen plenty of interviews with all of them there and literally Oprah has been like, you have to call me and tell me that they did not have food or that you all were sharing the same type of room or trailer. And I had to go and like, so I don't think it's one of those things that it was actually them i think it was oprah right. was the person behind the scenes funding things but she wasn't the decision maker of things that was happening no. and i think everything's been cleared up and i think people are getting confused the people who are who made the decisions and those are different people than oprah <laughs> and honestly an executive producer on the project is just a glorified title honestly yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, she ain't there all day, every no. day. Mm-mm. She was just there, oh, I think this is going to do good. Throw my name in there because I think the marketing will help you. Mm-hmm. Bye. 1, Enjoy. It. I'll see you when you're done. 1,000%. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, I think it's just, I just think it's the interwebs trying to make shit up. And also what kind of makes it hard, too, because people are like, well, this occurred then and this recorded then. Not even realizing they record the shit ahead of time a lot of times. Yeah. And oh, so absolutely. it's not going to be chronological order at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so you're like, oh, on this day they did this, and that day she said that. No, they recorded that shit three weeks ago, yeah. and they just released this one this time and that one that time. Same thing we do you yeah. know, around the holiday. Like, So it's just like, no, girls. No, no calm your asses down. No. Y'all just want to go after Oprah because y'all still mad about Monique shit yeah. and sit your mm-hmm. ass down. Yeah. <laughs> and don't, don't, I, I just get tired that it's always black, it's always the black movies yeah. that this shit happened to. Like y'all ain't saying shit when it's like Emma Stone and Steven Spielberg. Y'all ain't saying shit when it's when it's whomever else, mm-hmm. you know. But then it gets to a black movie that's doing well, and then now y'all want to start this shit, and a lot of time it's our own community doing that shit. Yeah, so that shit really pisses big. me off every fucking time. Shut up, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and speaking of shutting up, I do kind of give a damn about Vivica A. Fox's response <laughs> to this. <laughs> She said, situation. I got those problems. <laughs> she said, it ain't happened to me. It ain't happened to me. Said, I'm fine. I'm doing good. I don't have a problem. I don't that's, know what see, their experience that's is. Like, that's like how we were talking about the plane earlier. That's that look. Taraji in the back of the economy with the rest of us, okay? <laughs> look, look up there with Auntie Dewan. <laughs> look up there with Char. <laughs> look. Me? Did you see Gabrielle baby. Union that got all in it now? Yes. Too? Mm-hmm. Because she liked that tweet that said, uh, I forget what the tweet said verbatim. I said I was going to remember it. But some just like, uh, Vivica Dunn stepped her way in here and she ain't that, she ain't as famous as Taraji or something like that. And Gabrielle Union liked the tweet. (laughs) 
I'm like, see, see, I like this pettiness, but damn it, why, why is it our community? Do that to yeah. Emma and Julia Roberts and Meryl and them. <laughs> yeah, Ali. Um, all right, we'll get into this juicy one. Do y'all give a damn about Dave Chappelle's new special, and I haven't watched it, that has seemingly gone after the trans community once again? I'm going to step in real quick. I'm going to step in and say I don't give a damn at this point. Uh, yeah. I, you know, like, he is funny, but, like, the storyline for me has run stale. Yeah. As Kiki Palmer said on Pose. Or not Pose, but um, the other competition show. Yeah. <laughs> Legendary. It, that's it. It just, I, I don't want to say it reeks of desperation, but it's scraping the bottom of the barrel. You didn't yeah. have, there ain't nothing else for you to talk about. There ain't nothing else going on in the world today that you could be talking about, but drudging up this old, this old material and trying to like keep like, do you need, is this what you need for press? Because right. at, honestly, I, I saw they had a next fix special. I didn't watch it initially and I was going to save it. But then I saw two days later, I saw like the news coming out and in fact, Shout out to Blossom, Blossom C. Brown, because yeah. actually yours was the first uh, clip that I, that I saw. And if y'all not following Blossom, follow Blossom on, on IG Absolutely. and all those things. Please do. She is a trans advocate and she's a beautiful human being and um, she brings the heat. And period. that to me said, I don't need to watch this. At this point, uh, Dave Chappelle, as far as I'm concerned, funny comedian, but like that shit has run stale and I'm not here for it. So. Yeah, I, I won't yeah, I won't I, be watching. I'm right there with you. Like I was like, come on, dude. Like you you you're too good of a comedian to have to be recycling these same jokes, these same topics. Like you never did this your whole entire career. So what's going on in your again, like the Cat Williams making us look over here and stuff going on over here? What's going on in your life that you this is the third special now, girl? Come on now, come on. I, I <clears throat> before I understood what you was trying to say, now I don't know what the fuck you're trying to say now. For the yeah. third time, like what the fuck? <laughs> he already made his point. He already he already yeah. made his, his point, and not even saying like if you just take it out as his point was that everybody gets smoke, including trans right. people. I can get with that, right. but if you keep doing it, something else is up. That 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 yeah. argument doesn't jive, and now I'm I'm feeling as disingenuous and in, in terms of what you're saying about why you keep talking about this. What, what do you think, Jarrell? I agree. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> ask, ask your auntie, or not ask your auntie. Auntie, do you give a damn that Lil Nas X and Ariana got new music out? Well, when this would come out, it, uh, it'll be out. It wouldn't yeah. be out. Um, I'm here for the new music. I've been I've been waiting for Lil Nas X to come out here. He, again, he's trolling the girls, and people oh, have been... <laughs> I love that he out here trolling. I live for his level of just like online foolery. He just, he's my level of pettiness and I fucking love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> and I'm not surprised with Ari coming out with new music because of the fact that it's her year for Wicked is be coming out this year. Yeah. So to yep, get yep, the, yep. to get everything going, putting out an album and then going into the movie is going to be perfect for her. Um, so... Yeah, yeah. I give a damn. I like them both. You give a damn to why? I kind of do. Um, I I I I feel like I give a damn more about the gimmickness of the trolling and you know calling his new you know record like J Christ and it having kind of like that that those Christian overtones i was gonna say under but overtones yeah, it's over mm -hmm. it, it's, it's it's over evie right evie oddly tones <laughs> but um yeah I, I give more i give more of a damn about that than i probably do about his music per se yeah 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 i mean i i'm with y'all like the the trollness he just he's a master marketer mm -hmm. of himself and yeah. it's brilliant mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. never thought we was gonna see Lil Nas X this long after old town road right we, and honestly, I did. he become any a word yeah. I didn't I didn't and I thought it was gonna be a one he's been coming wonder. with bops yep he's been coming he with does. bops yeah. and mm -hmm. 
the 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 one clip where he was with the, the Queen of England. Oh uh, yeah, like, <laughs> they gave him down to, can you her. can you can you watch her do our dance? <laughs> right. A you can tell it's a Sean Bankhead uh, routine Vince. already from count one. Vince. It's the like it's seriously it's just like it's yes. the coddledness yes. and the hips and the uh, it's just Sean Bankhead. And Sean's going to make Nas dance. Yeah. He, he's like, I'm going to get you dance. Because Nas Honey, ain't a natural dancer. He's not a natural. Look, <laughs> I'm not a natural dancer, but he clearly is not. He has all the help in the world. And he just But be... Sean's like, we're going to get your ass to dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here for it. And then Ari, yeah. Ari be singing her face off. So I'm she, here to yeah, see what she, what she goes to next. She's already in there with Max Martin and all the, like, the top producers again. I'm just interested to see if Victoria is writing anything on this album because Victoria's been booked and busy and blessed the last year. Yeah. So that's what I'm kind of curious to see how much she has in involvement on this because a lot of the swag and tonality that Ari has had for the last few albums has come from Victoria. Mm-hmm. So if Victoria ain't on this album, I'm just interested to see what that path, that next path is for Ari. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And if it's a, a, a if it's a flop or not, you know, that's I don't think it's gonna be a flop because she's still still too much in her prime, and like you said, they're setting her up for Wicked and all this stuff, mm-hmm. so yeah. it's just gonna be a, probably a big Ariana Grande year. But just the the tone of the album, I'm kind of interested in, so that's why I give a damn. Just kind of almost the nerd side of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, let's see here. Oh, we need to talk about this. Do you give a damn that they made? I don't think it was voluntarily. Yeah, they made made Claudine Gay. Uh, resign as the Harvard president after only six months. I give a damn. I absolutely give a damn. I feel like in order for any person, regardless of, you know, gender or color to be um, in that role, there is an extensive, extensive background check. So why all of a sudden you have somebody who's being ousted for this concept of alleged plagiarism and some writings that this person did a gazillion years ago like so long ago 97 the math to me the math is just not mathing Mm -hmm. and if you're going to do that for her then where is the spanish inquisition for every other administrator and leader in harvard regarding their materials to validate that they're they've gone through the same level of scrutiny because if that doesn't exist I claim foul. Let me tell you, I'm trying to be like, uh, as a Tanisha from Bad Girls Club with the pants, look, this is going to be me. <laughs> I ain't nobody going to be president, bitch. I'm going, I'm finding everybody else. Everybody yeah, else. Oh, oh, so you, oh, I got to go? Oh. <laughs> we all going. We all going. We all going. That looked like AI. That yeah. looked like his mama wrote it. That looked like... <laughs> I'm getting everybody out there. Everybody. <laughs> and on top of with the yeah. uh, the affirmative, was it affirmative care, right? Is that the affirmative action? Uh, what was the affirmative action? Yeah, last year that was last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, affirmative action. Yeah. yeah. So on top of that, you add those two. I'm just like, damn. Now that's going to be even harder for a lot of people of color, as well too, in a lot of these institutes because Harvard is Harvard, <laughs> like. Yeah. But Sonny said it best to me on The View recently, where she said for forever, they set up these institutions for folks that look like us to not get in those positions. Mm -hmm. And now that folks that look like us are getting into those positions, they are trying anything that they can do to go back to the status quo or create something that's different where we're not in those positions anymore. Mm -hmm. And so that's what this screams to me. It's just like, We never thought there was going to be a black woman Mm -hmm. heading up Harvard University. Mm -hmm. So we're going to dig into every crate, everything, even if she plagiarized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many people have plagiarized in all positions throughout this country and world? (laughs) But it's crazy. Like, the parts that they were talking about that she was plagiarizing wasn't even, like, And that just showed you they were just trying to find anything anything because they never foresaw this. And so... It's scary because you see it throughout the country. They're just doing this for against the trans community, against the LGBTQ community, against yeah. the black community, against the brown community, against immigrants. They're doing things because they never foresaw this country look like this at this point yeah. in time. Mm-hmm. They tried to do everything in their power and still doing everything in their power. 
and laws and everything so it wouldn't look like this yeah. <laughs> yeah. and they're scratching and clawing right now to say damn hold on we hold hold the, hold the horses so that's why they're going hard again for old boy to get back in there mm-hmm. that's why they're doing all these measures <laughs> because it's yeah. their last hurrah of trying to keep it the same as it what it was and they're even struggling to try to set up a new system where it's just an all whites club all white men club and they're just realizing, oh, shit, hold on. And so we're going to see this more. She's not going to be the only one that this happens to, unfortunately. Yeah. And that's the sad and scary thing now. And so, like, for folks that are in current positions of, quote, unquote, power, wherever it's corporate America, whether it's your job, whatever it is, we need to be looking out for one another and making sure <laughs> that all our T's are crossed, I's are dotted, J's are dotted, <laughs> like everything, because they're looking to get rid of us. And so that's what this screams to me. So I give a damn because it's just bigger than just her, unfortunately. It's sad that it can't just be her situation. It's yeah. bigger than that. And her situation is massive. So it's just like, uh, it bothered me the second I saw that headline. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I love the the fact that you brought up Sunny from The View because there's a, there's a video clip of her talking about her perspective about what the Republican Party is doing. And I, yeah. I think it's like eight minutes. And mm-hmm. it's, I, I encourage you all to go out there and watch it's it. It's the because, most spot on thing I've done. Her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it for me, it breaks. It really breaks down the difference between what the Republican Party is doing and what the Democratic Party is reacting to, mm-hmm. and these moves around DEI, around re- women's reproductive health, around certain aspects of our of our democracy. It's a dismantling of the core systems that are in place, just like leveraging gerrymandering to redraw, you know, lines, uh, political lines within, you know, communities to disenfranchise, you know, black and brown communities and under underserved communities. It's the same thing, but it's the long game. So I encourage yeah. anyone who's looking to get like the cliff notes of what the fuck is going on out there. If you, you're not a politico and you're not like watching all these things, which you know, I'm, not, I'm not in all of it like that, but I am interested in what is going on at a global scale and in a national scale. Check out this video, just search it, view, sunny, um, Republican Party, type those in there and it'll be one of the first things that pops up and I guarantee you it'll be well worth it. Really educational. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I mean, it's 2024, so community, we're going to probably be ramping up our political talk again, just because it's so pertinent, it's so yep. crucial and critical yep. this year. Uh, even though it's annoying, it, we got to stay, we got to stay buttoned up on this because we saw what happened to the world after old boy got in last time. That literally, this was a domino effect from him getting elected last time. So if you think things are bad now, let his ass get up back up in there again. <laughs> and <laughs> honestly, the collateral damage from that next time. And just as a piggyback onto that, honestly, like if you if you don't vote or can't vote because we know there's some based on your right. felonies or whatever, you, some people can't vote. You always have the ability to vote with your coins. So Period. think about companies that are rolling back DEI initiatives, you know, that are taking a stand against that. Like if you're buying a Tesla. That's a vote. Oh, no, so you that is a vote. <laughs> and I don't know what the what the what another equivalent of that would be. That's not like whatever. Right. But... <laughs> <laughs> like... I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know if the Toyota would be the same equivalent, but all I'm saying is you At least have Lexus. a choice. Same company, Lexus. <laughs> there you go, Lexus. Yeah, <laughs> you have the same ability to vote with your coins. What, what yeah. states do you visit? What institutions do you participate in? What, you know, where do you buy your clothes from? Like, you know, Beyonce said it best, you know, tell far all day. Why? Because she's supporting black owned businesses. You said have the burgers the op- in storage. Gone. <laughs> so take a cue no, from she me. She said storage. She said, I know it's going to be worth something. I might be able to <laughs> trade them right. in and get some coin and help some black people out. <laughs> Honey, they, they, they I know where they at. <laughs> <laughs> so where uh, wherever you are at, you have the opportunity to vote. Yes, 1,000%. Um, all right, so we're going to save some of these other aunties. Do you give a damn for next week? Because there's so much that happened. But quickly, one thing this year is some resolutions that's kind of been going viral is like this in and out list for yes. 2024. 
Um, so do you guys have some in and outs? And maybe I know we were thinking about five, but for sake of time, maybe we do three of them. Let's yeah, do three okay. each. Our, our in and out. Okay. <laughs> maybe we save some more for a later date. I'm trying to pull well, mine up right quick. Okay, I'll go. Okay, yeah, you go. Do you want me? Okay, I'll go. So do you want to do in then out, like all ins and then yeah. outs? Or you want to go back and forth? Just okay. You could just do both. Just do both. Yeah. Yeah. Just do okay. both. Okay. So what's in for me? My number one, black people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's out? My number one, <laughs> small minds, i.e., bigots and racists. Uh, what's in for me? Number two is queer people. Mm -hmm. What's out for me? Number three, energy suckers. What's in for me? <laughs> number <Also>. three. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they're I mean, good at it, <laughs> is what I was gonna say. <laughs> I mean, you know, take the energy part out of it and just be the suckers. That would be in. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do my three and my four because my three is experiences okay. and uh, for in experiences, and then number four for me is money for those experiences. <laughs> oh, I know that's right. Go, go like an <laughs> and. Uh, and I would just say my out for me is bills because. They bills. Yeah. Right. That part. <laughs> Anybody trying to hear that? What about you, Drew? Yeah, for me, uh, number one was black people. Like I just I'm 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 here for it. Um another N for me was also just moving in silence. You know, not having to tell people what's happening all the time and celebrating to yourself in silence, not having to blast it everywhere to let the world know that you win it because everyone ain't winning. And it's OK that you can win in silence without rubbing in other people's face. Um, another... that's, you know what that is? That's <laughs> yeah. growth, right? Growth. That's um, growth. <laughs> and and another end for me was also just acceptance acceptance into the role that you play in things acceptance into the decisions that you've made to get you to where you are and just owning it now out for me um out for me is well my first one was saying yes when you actually mean no okay like mm -hmm. saying yes just to be nice and courteous is out if you actually want to say no say no okay Another out for me, too, um, was also kind of like what you're saying, energy suckers, like just being in places that just rob and steal for you that never replenishes back into who you are. And then the other thing that was out, doing the bare minimum, doing the bare minimum was out for me because there's a lot of people who have gotten very comfortable because of the pandemic who are OK with doing the bare minimum it's time to start putting effort back into things. And, and, and I kind of got into this with a conversation with someone because they were talking about like, um, uh, John, John, Johnny something Sibley. I think that's his name. He's, um, and mm -hmm. a, a gay actor. Um, he, he put in it. He, it was the one that kind of helped us came up with the conversation of ins and outs. Um, anyways, he said that one of the out was bringing white cloths to, like parties, bringing seltzers to parties. And at first mm. I took some offense to it. And I was like, what you mean? <laughs> but then I realized I was just like, damn, but if you go in somewhere and you bring a white car, you are doing the bare minimum. Like it kind of is the bare. It <laughs> is. And so but sometimes you'd be you be like, damn, I'm running late, I'm running behind, I gotta pick something up right quick. But if you but if you at the same <laughs> place, if you at a place where you can get a white claw, you at a place where you can get something else. You right. This is true. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, damn. So, you could get some Trulies. <laughs> it was hard seltzer. So, so it's hard, all so of them. Lemonade. So it's all of them. It was all Double of Chico's. them. Chinos, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So that would be that. That would be my list of ins and outs yeah. this year. Whew. All right. Some of my like I'm gonna have on more of my practical ones because some of yours is similar to mine. Like I root for all, but everybody black. <laughs> Another one out of the kind of the queer part was like <laughs> gay people out straight white girls at the gay bars because it don't happen again over the, the new year's girl this girl oh well, i gotta tell this wait girl can you do me a favor like can me? you do all your ends and then do all your outs because when because when okay. you were going back and forth when duan was going back and forth it gets a little confusing so do all it your ends little... and then oh, do all okay. your outs <laughs> let's see here because i put them in and out okay let's see here all my ends i'll do the practical ones in 
pants slash casual slacks. I'm kind of getting out the, out of the the jean era. I don't want to wear jeans all the time, so I'm, okay. I'm like I'm liking some some slacks right now, some okay. casual okay. slacks. Not che- <laughs> like not like the chinos. <laughs> you what? really are forty. <laughs> Uh, honey, it's that guy. I know. I sure am. So sure am. I'm in the slack 40 era. I'm here for it. You see these new glasses? Baby. <laughs> honey, baby. We going to see IT Corral out here sliding around in these Stacey Adams in a minute. And, the, and, and some Velcros. <laughs> and some Velcros. I'm dead ass serious. Oh, honey. Why <laughs> um, your pants here, underneath some... your nipples, girl? Uh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I am so here for it. Uh, let's see here. Another practical one. <laughs> I'm stupid for some of these. Boxer briefs and trunks out. Uh, sorry, even though I was saying in and out again. Uh, out, only wearing briefs. I got a couple pair of new trunks again. And I'm like, you know what? Actually, I forgot how much I like trunks and boxer briefs. <laughs> so that, I'm kind of going more that lane again. Wait, so you're uh, switching my, to boxer boxer briefs? More boxer briefs again, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I look good in them, so I was like, why not? Okay. <laughs> and then again, I sorry, Drew, I messed up the order, but in saying naysayers, out saying niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that clip? <laughs> I hate you so much right now. <laughs> where, where it was like it was a football panelist, and it was Reese Davis, and this this football player has a line called something about like us uh, uh, forgetting all these naysayers or something like that. And the whole panelist were like black people and another white guy. He's like, "That's not where I thought that shit was going. <laughs> we thought she was going to say something else for that M word." <laughs> So I was like, you know, I'm t- I'm still in there. I'm a- still in there. I'm not saying niggas no more. I'm saying they say it. <laughs> so that's my in and out this year. That's hilarious. Along with but kind of Jarrell and Dewan. So that was kind of more my serious ones that I had on my list. But some of these, I was like, you know, it is what it is. There's some practicality yeah. in my life. <laughs> I think, I think, yeah, absolutely practical. I feel like um, when I was thinking about the ins and the outs, I was really thinking about, and I think Jarrell, you were kind of going in this road, road too, which is leaning into the things that feed you and then yeah. being really clear about nixing, getting rid of the things that just don't, that don't serve. Yeah. Period, period, yeah. period, yeah. And a lot of those were kind of like mine last year, some of that, and they'll probably be a continuation. So this year I was like, okay, I did pretty decent last year. And some of the, the things that I have for myself, I was like, what do I want just on a practical level this year? Yeah. What kind of, I came um, up with the rest of the I'm list. still, I'm sorry, but I'm still stuck on your, on your boxer briefs because yeah, because girl, you got some, you got, you got thighs, you got trunks. Yeah. And, yeah. and the, one of the big challenges with those is a circulation. <laughs> and then B, and then Maybe B, it's up. the ride up. It's the <laughs> ride up. <laughs> So I'm curious, I mean, for you to be yeah. like, oh, yeah, I w- you know, I'm getting back into these. Have you found a brand? <laughs> it's Nasty Pig, isn't it? No. no okay. Actually, like, <laughs> that was going to be my guest. <laughs> even though I do like the Nasty Pig briefs still, I don't like their boxer briefs. They ride up for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, certain Calvin Kleins don't, but not all of them. There's certain ones. You, it's the material. Mm-hmm. You got to yeah. like look at the certain yeah. materials don't ride up as much. If you're getting anything with cotton... <laughs> Oh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You and then they that, start looking like drapey booty and all that. No, nobody got time for that. Nobody yeah. got time for that. It's grown to sexy at 40. <laughs> so I like that. There's actually some Under Armour ones that are pretty good because they're for athletics. So they design it a little better for them, them, them just to stay put. So, uh-huh. And then there's a Nike. Again, it's all to the material. There's a Nike pair that I got that I'm like, oh, see, this is what it's doing what it need to do. So that's what I've experimented okay. so far in the last like month or two. Because I'm trying to just throw out old underwear and get some new ones in, blah, 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 blah. So that's where I'm at now. But I'll keep you posted, community, and yeah. Dewan, if you want to know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then what's the, what's your preferred length at this point? Is it, like, over the knee? Is it mid-thigh? Or is it high-thigh? I don't like the high-thigh because the high-thighs end up rolling up. Yeah. And then okay. I was like, at that point, I might as well just wear a brief. Mm-hmm. Right. So I like okay. the one that's almost like mid-thigh. I forget the lengths now. Five. I like the five and sixes now. And okay. surprisingly, I'm like, oh, I kind of like these a little longer than I used to like them. And, like, you kind of see the silhouette in the mirror. You're like, okay, I'm looking all right, bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay. okay. And, then, and then my husband said, he's like, oh, I'm kind of liking you back in the, the, the boxer briefs and the trunks again. I'm like, thank you, boo. 
I'm just going to put it out there for the community. I feel like you need to put a little thirst trap out there on minority. I'll do it. I mean, you know. I mean, that that might be in this year, too. Just more yeah. thirstiness. I don't give a damn anymore. Like, yeah. and that's the thing. It's just like the older you get, it's like it don't matter, actually, at the end of the day. Damn, she really that's is trying really to find out. She's stepping into her 40 real quick. That's what it is. It's like you, it just it, the only person that kind of cares sometimes is Corey. He's like, oh, you just got your clothes off again. <laughs> <laughs> well... That's and I say, brand. and did, and did, <laughs> and look, and look at all these comments. Yes, <laughs> period. <laughs> Give the so, people so what yeah, they want. No, it's just like I don't know. It's just like you just gain a confidence that, like, I wish I had at like twenty five in yeah. the twenty five year old body. <laughs> so, yeah. so I'm like now, and I've said it for years. And I was just like, I'm sure at forty five, I'm like, damn, the forty body. I need that body back. So it's like mm-hmm. I might as well do it now. Well, well I'll be standing for both. I'll be standing for both of y'all. Like every time you post a little something, drill out <laughs> there getting something. his workout in, and you posting your little body yadi yadi, I'll be standing for all that. Me, you just getting shoulder up. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Dewan be sneaking with his. Dewan every <laughs> once in a while will sneak attack your ass because, <laughs> and it's usually when he on vacay, opal, opaling. <laughs> like he'll he'll throw a little speed over there. <laughs> he'll try to do it to make it look like it's char, but we're like. We know what you're doing, ho. I think I've we only see that done Captain that breezing twice. in the wind, but we know what you're doing. <laughs> I've only done that twice, and one of those was hidden in a group of other pictures that wasn't the main photo. It's like we know what you're doing. We know that's the Dewan way of doing it. He, he gets the itch every once in a while. <laughs> I'm trying to put all my business out there in the streets say, like you that. Put, you put all your business out there. <laughs> So what I'm hearing is, for your 40th birthday, we're gonna be doing a little thought and and, and oh, you know I mean, it's speedos all week, the whole week. No, meaning that we're gonna be taking pictures to post for the podcast. Oh, That's what we're gonna be yeah, doing. Oh, that could be for Pride. That's what we can do. We can take some in PV and then we can sprinkle them in there uh-huh. during Pride Month. Let's do it. Yeah, you get a little get a little sprinklers throughout the year yeah. this year. Community, stay tuned. Community, hey, y'all, actually, y'all want them pictures? That's what I want to know. Y'all want them pictures? Sound they want them pictures, but here's what you got to do for them pictures. You need to leave us a review on Apple Music, please, and Spotify. You need to make sure you share this podcast with your family and friends so we can continue to get these numbers up. Uh, what else we need? And comment. That's what also helps the algorithm. Mm-hmm. Comment in the the IG posts and things like that. Even if it's just saying hello, know. aunties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all we need to kind of continue to push them the, the content out I, there. I, I do want to do one thing real quick. Yeah. And I do want to shout out just the the consistent people on our YouTube videos that have been commenting oh, and yes. that have been yes. sharing and that yes. have yes. been just... Let me see if I can get their names right quick. Just thank you because those comments are just... Yes. Such a good reminder of why we do this. And the fact that you mm-hmm. are watching on YouTube, so not only you just listen to us, but you're taking time to look at us and be in here oh, with man. us. And I just really appreciate it. And, and and y'all be on it literally on Monday yeah. when it come out. <laughs> so I just want to say thank y'all. This is from un- from us to you. Thank you. Just, yes. just thank Period. you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. I I'm trying to say their names. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. I have a little... All these filters are so there's Arik, there's uh LA. Uh, well, it's LA 23 Bay. I know who this is on because she'd be on the, the IG as well. But mm-hmm. I'm just gonna say your, your your social name so we don't put yes. your government out there. And then Super Kid, Super Kid 801, <laughs> yes, be on it <laughs> on all it, on Everywhere. it. period. <laughs> I, I see that shit pop up on the phone. I'm like, well, damn, <laughs> 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 but that shit just released. I but no, that. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, so can we leave us some comments out there as well on YouTube? We're trying to get the YouTube blown up this year, so that's another one. Um, and honestly, what we're gonna do quickly, you're gonna see some exclusive stuff out on YouTube this week because we're gonna be giving our favorites of the Golden Globe. So, this is the regular episode. So go over there if you haven't been on YouTube, subscribe real quick, and go get some extra content this week because we're gonna be giving our favorites and our worst maybe of the Golden Globes fashion and uh. We'll probably do something like that throughout throughout all the award season, probably. Honestly, you I know, like that. just some 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 little different. And then also, we know drag races out there, so we'll commentate on that next week when we get the first two episodes in our our system. Um, mm-hmm. And I feel like the season might be a good one, actually, from the the first episode. Damn, but, yeah, uh, I really was, was late, community, because I didn't know any of this. This is breaking news for me too. I'm over here you like, know, <laughs> I said, no, talking about the stuff that we're gonna be doing on YouTube separately. I was like, 
damn, I was late. <laughs> so that's what you get. <laughs> you late, you miss out. I was in the text thread. <laughs> I was working, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. But anything else on your hearts and minds for right now? Um, I'm just gonna say, everyone, I know at the beginning of the year it can be it can be that time where you want to make a list of a bunch of things to do and and whatnot, but just make sure to enjoy life and to live. Okay. And don't put yeah. the pressure on yourself of having to accomplish and do all these things. We are 10 days in as we're recording this, I think it'll be 14 days or 15 days when this comes out at the end of the day, just get through the year and get through life just like the rest of us. And don't put more pressure on you because the world will already do that for you. Pressure is a word. <laughs> and on that note, wash your hands, wash your legs, wash your ass. We'll see you next week. Bye.